My name is Rayleigh Nendersby and my research is focused on childhood brain tumours and we have a team of people who are committed to try and identify new treatments for kids with brain tumours not only to increase their likelihood of survival but also to increase their quality of life after therapy. Being a scientist that you have the thrill of discovery every day and um, there's so much about cancer that we don't know and we don't understand and so major breakthroughs and discoveries do happen on a regular basis and so for me that's, it. that's a really exciting place to be in, in my career and to be able to experience that um, firsthand. We get to find out about discoveries before the rest of the world does and so that's very exciting to me. Cancer is a very different disease. There are no two people that have the same cancer. So for me, what we know and what we understand is that not just that brain tumours are different from leukaemias and other different types of cancers, but within a single tumour, one of the ones I work on is called medulloblastoma. Within medulloblastoma, there are at least four to five different diseases within that. And so even for the one disease, one cancer, um, there's not going to be a single drug that's going to cure that and it, in the future for therapy it's really going to be about tailoring and personalising that therapy and so if we can contribute to understanding which patients need to be put on which treatments and which ones are going to work for those, those particular kids, then, um, then that would be really significant to me. You know, you have little, little milestones and little achievements that you make along the way and in science they all add up to a bigger picture of adding to our understanding. So it might be a very minor thing that you observe in the lab um, at one time. Um, but when you piece it together with 10 other bits of evidence or 10 other pieces of information that you have, you start to get a much better understanding. And um, that, ha that takes a very long time to happen. It's not like a eureka moment that you get. But um, even in the, the short career that I've had, um, our understanding of cancer and, and what it is and how we can tackle it has really just hugely expanded just in five years and so you can think in a 20 year career how much further ahead we will be. And I have had parents who've had children on the Ward 3B which is at Princess Micro Hospital over the road um, and they have said to me that they've been walking down Roberts Road and felt quite helpless when their children are undergoing chemotherapy or the radiation therapy. And they look over and they see the institute and they see that the lights are on and there are scientists in the lab. And to them, they feel that if we as scientists don't give up hope that we'll be able to find cures for this disease, then they won't give up hope either for their kids. So to me, that's the most important thing.